Hi there folks. In this video we're going to show you how to draw isometric shapes and we're going to start with a basic cylinder. So just a, a tube or a cylinder um, and we're going to start off just using the V of Isosketch to give us a little starting point, a little template if you like to draw from. So we're just going to go along the ruler and in this one we're just going to go to 60 millimeters. Um, but of course that depends on what length of shape you're going to draw. Could be up to 100, could be more. Um, this gives us a chance to use the mouth of Isosketch so we're just going to use that and you'll see why in a moment, just to give us a little corner on this on this end. So we're just going to use literally 10 millimeters there just to give ourselves a little reference point. Now, we're going to use the ellipses, which are, of course, 3D circles, if you like, isometric circles. Now, around each one, there's a sort of a frame, if you like, a box. We're going to use that box just to line up with the drawing that we've just done so that the corner that we've drawn matches up with the corner of that box, if you like, that frame on the tool. So just using the template, drawing around the ellipse, and then we're going to use the same sort of technique on the top there, just using that line we've drawn and lining up the corner of the tool with the end of that line. Now what you've now got is a pair of isometric circles that should line up perfectly. So the last thing to do is just to join them up with the ruler. You could be really clever here and use the bump stops just to make sure you stop in the right place, but here I'm just guessing it, so whichever you feel most comfortable with. So we're just going to do a quick demo now, obviously I'm not talking through this in real time, that would be um, fairly superhuman on my hands part. This is just showing you how to use some alcohol markers, which are sort of professional markers, but you can buy them in any sort of good stationery shop. These are slightly different from regular water-based markers, which is what you'd normally use, um, in that they don't sort of streak when you overlay them, so you get a nice kind of blend effect. What you see me doing here is just using a white pen and it just highlights the little areas of bright light which makes a massive difference really when you look at the end result. So for those of you that watched the first method and thought that's far too much like hard work for me, there is a quicker way and we'll just show you this with a vertical cylinder. So we're just using the sort of spine of Isosketch and we're making a dot there, making a mark which is just a, a really quick reference point. And as long as we line that up with somewhere on the sort of center line of Isosketch, as you can see, the little straight lines running throughout the tool that kind of join up the stencils, then as long as we stick to that, we know pretty much that we're, we're lining things up. You could, of course, do this without even doing that and just guess it again, but at least doing it this way, make sure that you've got your ellipses lined up um, ready to just be joined up with the ruler. So it's as simple as that. So now you've got two techniques, we're going to show you quickly in 60 seconds how you might use these to design something. 